on this beautiful Wednesday morning. It's very sunny where I am. Um, it's a hot out already. It's like we are having a heat wave. Well, it's not like it's we are having a heat wave at the moment in the UK. I love it. I really do love it. Um, it's just like warms you all the way through. I know you can get a little bit too hot, but um, the trick to it, I guess, and what's what I always do is keep the windows open at nine shut them during the day and sort of pull the curtains in so the sun doesn't come in and then the house keeps cool but uh, i um i really love this weather so today we're gonna be <laughs> it's it's like the irony hottest day of the year i guess and we are kind of like making like they they could be pendants they could be christmas decorations they could be a lot of different things but we are going to be making little stars with gem duo beads. They are really easy to make. They are very beautiful. And there's so many different variations what you can do. I'm currently sending morning from Sunny Wilshire. Good morning, Janet from Glasgow. Janet saying good morning from Glasgow. Glad we're here this morning, she says. Oh, well, don't send the clouds down. We could be quite like the sun at the moment. <laughs> Janice is saying too hot, Swansea, but must not grumble. Rachel is saying good morning. What a lovely weather. Good morning, Gwen. I hope you're all all right. Right. I hope there's so many of you lovely. So good morning, Anna, here already. Right. I'm going to turn you down very, or actually very quickly show you on the website and turn you down and get you will able to choose the color that i'm going to demo with as always you know i've got all of them here in front of me um good morning francis good morning sharon good morning debbie good morning mina is and working in office today and tomorrow good morning carol good morning jitty good morning bridget Lovely and warm in, in Preston, Lancashire as well. Good morning, Charlotte. Raining during the night, she's saying. So Charlotte in Hawaii, so she's literally the other side of the world for me. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Lucy. Susan. Very sunny in Oxford, she says. Good morning, Thea. Sheila. Warm but hazy in Washington, she says. Good morning, Ruth. Good morning, Lorna. Do this. Right, okay, let's, let's quickly go to the website. So, let me just bring the right window up here. When you don't want the windows to appear, they always appear just that they're just like sitting there. Right, okay, so website, I'm going to go back to the home screen. Now, by now, you know the drill is totallybeads.co.uk. You need to go. Video tutorials, big button here. Or you're going to go into categories and go into video tutorials from there. Hundreds of tutorials going all the way back over a year. I'm going to go into Gem Duo Stars today. So we've got seven different colors here. Um, from blues, hazel, monochrome, pink ice, bronze teal, aqua, antique bronze and twilight. The blue, like I, I put purple in there as well. So it's, we call it twilight. Um, they all were about 10% off today. It will make you quite a few of the stars. It's make you six stars. So... No, eight. Is it eight? Six or eight? Sorry. Gem Dio says, a kit will make approximately eight stars. Yeah, that's right. I, I had a little bit of a brain freeze here. I was like, I'm saying six or is it eight? <laughs> it's a six-pointed star. We're making eight pieces of a six-pointed star. Good morning. I need, a, I, need, I need a sip of my coffee. Lucy saying she made one out of made one of these, but she doesn't know where she put it. So do have a look at them on the website, and we're just going to show them in real life too, just in a sec. I'm going to go down straight down to the table. There we go. Wendy saying good morning from sunny Felix though. I'm so late, and he's saying oh we're just getting started. Lovely. Good morning, Di. Morning, Pamela. Oh, Lucy's put the link in for the pendants. Morning, Leanne. Morning, Annie. Right, okay, so this one is the hazel. So in the hazel, you get this beautiful, and I'm just going to, shall we actually, what I'm, no, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in a bit more, and then we can come back. There we go. And I'm going to zoom in there as well, so you can really see it as well. So this one is the hazel beautiful colors i love this sort of silvery like a, a um 
aluminium silvery color I, I really do love it's got a, just a tiny hint of gold in it but it's a very beautiful color so that's hazel you get three different but let me just show you quickly you get three bags of the beautiful gem doers and you get your seed beads the matching seed beads to go with it i shaded them so they go perfectly together um you can add to your order you can add um needle on thread if you need it otherwise it's just super on size the what we have used so you can um just like you might have some at home now from the same kit, you can make um, a little diamond shapes as well, which I'll show you later on. And we will do that maybe some point, like in a couple of weeks. I'm not sure where I put it in the diary. Now, okay, this one is antique bronze. So you got sort of your goldy and bronzy colors. This one is beautiful as well. Then we have this beautiful twilight. Now there is darker blue, a light blue, and then there is purple in it. I really do love this color. Probably this is my like go-to colorway. I think they go together so, so nicely. So next one is pink eyes. So this one has got a pink. It's got like a pink, pinky, purpley, um, goldy one in there. <laughs> I can't remember what the color name is for that one. And then we got blues as well. This is again beautiful, beautiful color. But now my, if I have to pick a favorite, probably this would be my second favorite aqua. You know me, I love all sorts of aqua colors and they go with so nicely that we get go with blues and all sorts of different colors. Next one is the antique bronze. So this one I put it, no, sorry, this is the bronze steel. So I put the bronze with teal here. Now you can do, you can make them with one color of um, gem duos or you can use all sorts of different color variations. They, they are quite stiff. So Janice was asking, like, are they firm or stiff? They are quite stiff. So they, they are movable, so that they will flap around, can you see? But they are quite stiff. So they're not gonna, like if you hang them up, they're not, the arms, sort of speak, are not gonna fold in on each other at all. So it's not, not gonna, probably that's the most I can push it together. And then it goes back out. And if you hang, if you hang it up, you will be, it will be just there. It will be just, just, just stand straight. So last but not least, this is the monochrome. The, you got silvers, you got a hematite, and we got a black color with it with black seed beads. Okay, so I, this is now I need you to put the color in. Would like me to demo it, and I am going to zoom back out so you can see all the colors again. And we do our little snail race down on the table. So do let me know which one do you want me to demo with. So we got Hazel, we got Antic Bronze, we got Twilight, we have Pink Eyes, we have Aqua. Yes, Aqua. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked at the teal. I was like, yeah, I've got Aqua. I need my coffee this morning. We got Bronze Teal and we have Twilight. Oh, Luna's saying we made this in a bead club and or the hervans were on the tree. They looked beautiful. Yes, we did do them in a bead club. I think it was like, like maybe end of last year. But we always have one. And if you don't know what the bead club is, we do meet every Thursday. Or um, we have like classes on Zoom and we all sorts of different projects. This was one of the projects before Christmas. And if you don't know what the bead club is, then do check it out because we always have so much fun in there. Um, a couple of hours on Thursday night between 7 and 9 or Friday lunchtime between 12 and 2 p.m. Right, okay, so let's have a look at the colors. So... Pink ice, Francis is saying. So I'm gonna bring that down one. Um, purple and blue. Diane is saying pink ice. Janice is saying hazel. Pink ice. You liking the pink ice? Pink ice. Um, Susan is saying she made a few bead club as well. They looked lovely on the tree. But you don't, don't just have like you can use them as pendants. You can use them as decorations. On a tree, you can use as that you can use them as so many different things. You're just making just think about it, you're just making a beaded shape. Um, Carol's saying aqua, pink eyes, pink eyes technically one, but <laughs> let's have a look. I got one, two, three, four, five, 
six more for the pink eyes the pink eye definitely won but let's see what would have been the second one aqua seven for pink eye pink eyes eight for pink eyes i mean saying love them all and lucy put that link up for the beat club if you want to check that nine for pink eyes bronze link above for that the uh, beat cup pink eyes again so that's 10 antique bronze pink eyes 11 pink eyes 12 pink eyes 13 pink eyes 14 pink eyes 15 pink eyes is like technically like one off the chart so we're gonna do with do we're gonna demo with the with the pink eyes 14 15 16 um could you adjust the bead sizes to make smaller ones egg like mini gem duos and size 15s um probably but you would have to like work out the, the pattern as well susan because it might be like very picking up three you might have to pick up two but you can do like i remember like a little snowflake here so you could do this one is done with super duos so you could do all sorts of different shapes with we do these two whole beads but we probably get around to do that one as well at some point as well so we're going to demo with pink eyes i'm going to zoom back in just a tiny bit push these out and get my pink eyes beads out could it be okay for herringbone necklace yeah why not of course you could have i got any of the herringbone um necklaces here in hand i haven't i'm afraid but yes, you could put the herringbone necklace on it. Now, this one it has got a larger loop and this one has got a smaller loop. And I will talk you through this. Like, what's the difference? If you want to make a necklace, you have to put a loop like this on because it's just how we're adding the top bead. But I'm going to show you that at the end. This one is the loop is added horizontally with uh, the star itself so it doesn't turn so this one when you put it on the tree so if you make it for a tree or make it as a decoration to put it on a doorknob or put it anywhere you want this kind of loop if you want it as a pendant then you're going to have this kind of loop because this one can turn around but we're going to get there when we are um when we when we adding the loop on it and i will talk you to it uh, tracy saying i love the snowflake view. i love this that snowflake too as well like I was talking about getting ready for Christmas and doing bits and pieces for Christmas already. And I think it's so important that um, like we start earlier rather than later because Christmas is going to creep us on us so quickly. Like before you know it, it will be it will be Christmas Eve. I mean, can you believe it? It's, July is almost finished. Right, I'm just going to grab some thread and the thread up. And then we're gonna get get started. I don't know if you heard it, but Christopher just started shouting for me, Mom. He forgot I was live, I think. <laughs> Bless him. The joys of the summer holidays. Simon already took him down for the little quick dip in the sea. So they had a little swim. And then he went off to work. And I don't know what actually Christopher is up to right now. When you have to do your needle really really quick live on air that's when it's <laughs> that's what happened but i did it okay so before you get started what i always say the plan out like how you're going to make your star so this is like unless if you have been like making a few of them and then you can just go ahead and you know you can just go ahead and do it as you do but if it's the first time you're making it i do like to put my shape out and this will help you not just to see them visually what you're going to be doing actually let's zoom in and now i'm gonna move it to the middle so there we go move it more to the world's middle a bit so this helps you visually how's it going to look like once you're adding the colors together as well what is really helping you is that you're going to pick the beads up the right way because the gem duo beads Come on, turn around. Chemtail beads have a front and a back to them. So they got two holes on them, and that's how we're binding our project together here. So we got two holes on this gem duo, and I'm just put it on the top of my thumb here. So it will say so the front of it is somewhat domed a little bit, and the back of it is flat. And there is two holes going through it so depending on how you pick it up you're going to end up with the domed facing up 
or the flat bit facing up. And when we're making our star, we want one side where all the domes are facing up and on the other side, we want all the flat, the backs together. So when you're putting it out on your mat like this, you're not just helping yourself to plan out the colors of what you're gonna be using, but it helps you to pick them up the same way. So I'm just threaded my needle and I'm gonna open up my pattern here. I need to go through the inner hole all the way around. So I'm gonna just open it up there and I'm gonna go through, can you see I'm going through the inner ones every single time. And you can also turn your work or you can turn the beads. But this way I know I picked them up exactly the right way. And when I take them down, just gonna double check it. So I'm just gonna lay it down just like that on my mat and see they all of them face upwards. And I'm gonna go through all six of them one more time. And then I'm gonna knot my tail end and my working thread together to form a nice and strong base. Do let me know in the comments if you have done this one before. Pink, I oh, just gone out of sock. Lucy says she's gonna find it out. Get, get get onto Simon, Lucy, they will check. They will check the stock. They will be run around the warehouse and they will check the stock. Let me just bring up the... Oh, Sheila, thank you so much for the stars. Really, really appreciate it. Right, I went all the way around and now I'm going to knot my beginning and end together just with a normal right over left, left over right just with a normal square knot. I'm not gonna pull it really, really tight because I don't want the beads to pucker, but I'm just gonna make sure that I got a nice a nice space there. Now, actually, before we started, one thing I kind of like need to bring your attention to, that when you're working with two whole beads, I do like to, when I pick them up, sometimes I look through them. So can you see the other hole is um, is free as well? Because one in, one in a, thousand you can get a bead when the other hole is blocked and sometimes you can free it but um i always kind of like when i'm working with two holes i either check them on the mat super jewels is easier to check because they will like kind of like sit the right way with the gem doors as well do check it that you got a nice and clear girl right okay so i'm gonna go just through a next couple of beads so i'm away from my tail Rachel's think all the place cannot wait. Oh, there, this is so beautiful and so fun to make as well. And they do up really, really quickly. So I just went through a couple of beads and now I'm gonna come through the same bead. So I just went through this bead that way. I'm gonna come back through the same bead. To, this will turn my direction and I'm jumping up to the next hole there. I'm gonna take this next segment which now I have to add two beads on there and again I can always if I'm not quite sure what way or which hole do I have to go on the gem doers I can quite easily just pop it down on my mat put the beads there and I know they need to connect with the holes closest to the middle of our star and then go through the next one there we go and when i pick it up and pull it through they're definitely going to be the right way and again you can put it down get the next two out and just sort of always measure it to it after a while when you've been picking up two whole seed beads and been working with two whole seed beads you will not seed beads two whole beads <laughs> i'm just sip of my coffee two whole beads if you've been working with after a while you will know which way to pick them up It will come naturally. Now I'm gonna fill up and add those beads in all the way around. I love, I really do love these little stars. And you can make eight out of the kit, but if you leave a few beads over, we will be doing the little diamonds not long, I'll show you the samples later on. So I'm almost all the way around. It grows quite quickly as well because you're working with 
some but larger beads. I would think that if I sit down and I was just made it, making making the star itself, I would be probably done maybe in about 10-15 minutes per star. So that's quite good, quite quick, especially if you sell your makes. Right, I'm all the way around. And I deliberately made a mistake here for you. So I picked this one up the last, picked this one up the wrong way. And I'm going to bring this up. So can you see, if you don't pay attention to your direction, this is what can happen. So all of my beads are sitting the right way, apart from this one is sitting the wrong way because the back is to the front. So that's what we really want to avoid. And I'm going to quickly pop back and take that off. And turn it around. So if you are not sure, then always just pop it down on your mat, put the beads in, sort of wedge them in as they would go, and then pick them up. Just make life a little bit easier. Right, I went through this one now. If you're like, if you're, my tension is quite tight, but if your tension is a bit loose, I quite like to run around I would like to run around this row one more time just to tighten it up a little bit. And the more you run around, the more stiffer your star is going to become. There we go. I'm going to run around this time, just going through the thread buff I created all of the beads and every single time I go, I just pull it a little bit tighter. The more you fill up the whole of those beads with thread, the tighter and straighter it's going to sit. Oh, but Diane, Diane managed to get a pink one. She said she thought it was gonna sell out. They, this is beautiful, this pink eyes. But they all of them like nice. They all of them are really nice, and they got multiple use. You can use them as decorations, or you can use them as you can make it into a pendant. You can use it as a pendant. So many different things you can do with it. Like if you wanted to, like if you're into card making, you could like stick it on the front of a card, and or sort of not like maybe not stick it, secure it, and then people can. When they have their Christmas cards, they can take you off and it's like a little prezi as well at the same time. I quite like to add like little decoration to the door handles on my cabinets in the kitchen, just like little dangly down ones. I think it just makes it a bit more festive. I'm not like not very good with like putting out loads of loads of stuff, but I just like little subtle, like little angels or so, uh, there's something always hanging down on a door handle in the kitchen. Right, I'm all the way around. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my thread around. So as I'm coming out of this bead here, my thread is facing that way. I'm going to go through the same bead. I'm going to go back on myself. Oh no, there we go. I thought I, I thought the hole was blocked. I was like, I was talking about the hole is blocked. And <laughs> this one was a little bit big on through. Yes, you can absolutely put them into resin. And um, if you get time at the end, I'll show you. I made a resin coaster with this. And I'm not sure, Lucy, if you can find the link. But um, we did do, but they, they're a large one. They, they have a different kit as well. They have a seven different colors. It's right. Now, we're going to do another row here. But now, as you can see, we... Like our shape is a little bit more round still. So need to we need to point these stars. We need to make them into pointy. So we're going to go ahead. I'm just going to use the blue. We're going to add the points to our star. But where we are not adding the points to our stars, we're going to have to add, we're going to have to start adding some seed beads or something in here because we don't want the thread part to show. So as you see, you got a smaller gap and then you got a larger gap. Now you could go and make a head and add another row of this star and make it bigger and bigger and bigger if you wanted to. I kind of like them this size because they are already 
let me just get this out for you they're already like an inch and a half across and if i measure it from top to bottom they are about two inches in size so i kind of like this size so where as you are going back on yourself if you got a smaller hole you're going to go ahead and add a jam duo if you got a larger hole like i'm i'm um, got right in front of me then you're going to be adding some seed beads so i'm going to pick up three size 11 seed beads and just go through the next gem duo then i'm back here again picking up a gem duo i'm going to alternate it all the way around I actually found the YouTube video playing with resin. I think, I don't even know if that was on my channel or what channel it was, or Totally Beads channel. But uh, we made a beautiful coaster as well. There's so many different things you can do. Like, in, I love doing home decor as well with, with beadwork because it's just like you're using your truly making skills in other settings as well, and they're going to be truly unique pieces right i'm just adding three seed beads where the largest gap is and adding a gem duo where the smallest gap is maybe i should do may should make a um, i'll show you the coaster make a shorter make a new video for that one and going through those three and i'm coming through the next one coming through the next one right again what you can do you can run around your the whole of your star here all the way around just to tighten it a little bit up and again, the more you go through, the stiffer it's going to be. I'm just going all the way around. And just think, home decor would be good as I got jewelry coming out of my ear. So I love making them all. I will carry on doing them. Absolutely. I love I love home decor. Right, we are almost all the way around. And then guess what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna add more seed beads in and we're gonna pull our star together. Just keep going round. Now you can go around once or twice, depending on how loose is your tension. If your tension is a bit looser, then go around a second time. But then that will be enough because you're still going to have to come through those seed beads. So you don't want to fill up the whole of those seed beads too much. But once we add the rest of the seed beads, it will be a little bit harder to kind of like force yourself into to go through the gem doers so we're not going to need the gem doers anymore so i'm just going to push them out of the way we're just going to need our seed beads for now so i'm going to once again i'm going to go and turn my direction around so as i'm coming out going that way of this gem duo here i'm just gonna come back through the free hole just there and I'm going to go ahead, this is going to be like the kind of like the rules of threes, because I'm picking up the seed beads in threes. So I'm going to pick up three seed beads. One, two, three. And then I'm just going to go along and go through this three seed bead right here. So I'm just filling the gap between the hole on the gem duo and those seed beads. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick up another three seed bead. And go through the next gem duo. 
Now here, what we want to do, we want to add like a little bit of like a pico edge on the top here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up four seed beads, not three, but four this time at the corner. And I'm going to, as I'm coming out of this gem duo towards the bottom, I'm going to come through from the other side one more time. So this four seed bead just going to sit on the top. Don't worry if it sits a little bit wonky, we will straighten that on, straighten, straighten it out just in a bit. So now I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to add my three seed beads in. Go through these three. Pick up another three. And then go through the next gem duo. Just like that. Then turn it, pick up four. And come through that gem duo again then picking up three and so on. If you do have any questions, please put a cue in front of your question so we can very easily identify it and I can make sure that I answer it for you. Did Lucy find out if there was any more pink eyes? Gwen is asking. I'm not sure. Like give like the, you can always give Simon a call <laughs> in the office as well on the office number and then, then they can tell you directly because I'm working from home and Simon is working from the warehouse. It's like, I, I, I don't know. So what, what stock they have or what, what they can check, but do give them a call or Lucy, 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 I know Lucy text Simon. Busy in the warehouse. Lucy's saying, yeah, absolutely. They're, they're always busy. Bless them. Oh, Charlotte, thank you so much for the stars. And Leanne, thank you so much for the stars as well. Really, really appreciate it. So when I'm getting to the point, I'm adding four. And then otherwise I'm adding three seed beads in all the way around my star. This is looking great already. We could make like little badges. You could make little loads of different things with it. I love like formed, like forming shape, geometric shapes with beads. There we go. And then I'm picking up three. And I'm going to pick up the last four seed beads and then we're going to go around reinforce it and we're going to pick, we're going to add a little pico edge in. So by a little pico edge, what I mean, we're going to, we're going to sew all these loops together, but what we really want to do is, let's pull this through. What we really want to do is to make a point to our stars. So we could have picked up five seed beads when we went around and it somewhat would have been pointy, but because we only picked up four and I'm just going to, I'm going to turn this around. So I'm stitching away from myself and I'm going to run up to the next point and I'm going to show you what will happen now because we are forcing an extra seed bead in right into the middle. That's going to make it really pointy. So I'm just going to go through these three. And the first two of the four corner beads we added on the right into the end of the arm. And I'm going to pick up one seed bead. And I'm going to go down through the next and follow my beads all the way up to the next point. And when I pull this up, that seed bead just going to sit there. And it's going to act as a little corner. If I turn it back around, can you see the difference? So this one is more rounded. And this one, when, when, when we just added the seed bead, it just makes it really pointy. It just really, it just straightens it up. It just straightens it all up. So sometimes just by, just by adding one seed bead onto your design, you will straighten it up and it will look even better. Love to make a red and green for Christmas, Mina is saying. You could do this in all sorts of different colors. There is three different colors of gem doers in the kit. I just used two for this one, 
but when you're using three you can really shade it like on this one i got darker blue on the outside then i got purple and sort of a medium blue in the middle or this one has got this one has got the other color in there as well so instead of here i use the blue on the outer edge here up there is the purpley color in there there's all sorts of different this one has got three colors in there as well the more colors you add in it i think the more the like the better it looks right i'm just gonna pop around and add all of these seed beads in Red and gold would be Christmassy and green and gold as well, Diane is saying. Absolutely. Once you learn how to make it, once you learn the technique, you can just go ahead and make them in your own colors. Don't forget there's 10% off on the kits at the moment. Just going right to the top. There we go. I think and the next one in, and I think I got two more arms. Is do do stars have arms? Do we do we refer to them? Because like starfish has arms. <laughs> but do stars have arms? How do we refer to the pointy end of the stars? Do let me know in the comments. You know me. Sometimes I don't I can't remember I the, the words just doesn't come to me. But I'm not really sure how do you refer to them. You can, you can make eight stars from the, the kits as well. So they kind of like work out just over a pound each. Depending on what color you choose, they're slightly different prices. Because obviously the gem doers themselves are different prices. Add needle and thread if you need to your kit. Otherwise, it's super on size D what I'm using. Write them all the way around. And now... Just go through this one and I'm going to turn it around. So we have got our little star perfect here. Let's zoom in just a tiny bit more. And now we need to decide what we're going to do. So if I'm turning into a pendant, well, there's all sorts of different loops you can add to the top. And like on most of them, like I just add like a little tiny single loop, but you could make like a little herringbone stitch at the top of them. That would look really good as well. You could do so many, like a little bit thicker. It would be now if you want to turn it into more of a decoration then you want your loop to sit that way so that's that's the difference and you kind of need to decide it now like what you're going to do but i'm just going to go ahead and as i'm i'm going to go up to the next point and come out through the that point seed bead we just added on and i'm going to start to I'm just going through the next few beads and then I'm going to start to add my seed beads on. And then it's just how you come back down what will make the difference in how your loop is going to sit. Right, going up right to the top. And I'm going to start picking up some seed beads. So if I want it to be a pendant then I don't really need like a really big loop on it because it just has to be big enough to be able to add it onto the necklace I want to add it on so if you're going with the herringbone one you probably only need about 15 beads or so let's see will that be enough yeah maybe add a couple more for good luck I always do this like I, I do I'd, I add x amount of beads and I go back like let, let's just, just add one more for luck so if I want like can you see I'm coming out exiting out of this bead can I zoom in a bit more on this I'm exiting out of this bead to the right hand side here so if I want a round loop just like that then all I'm going to be doing is taking my needle through this bead going that way and if i would pull this through and pull it up nice and tight then i would make a loop just like that if i want to turn it into a pendant then what i need to do is i need to come back down on myself before i go to the seed bead so i'm going to ignore all of those beads i just added apart from the very last one the one before like this the thread coming out of where our star is so i'm going to go back down towards the star through this seed bead, pull it up nice and tight, and then I'm going to go through that seed bead on the star. So I was coming out of this way, 
So I'm going to come, uh, come, going to come through from the other side. So I centralize this loop on the top of the star and I'm going to pull this through and pull this nice and tight. And can you see now, because we have got the seed bead sitting vertically above our, the point of our star, this loop, because of the seed bead can turn. So it's perfect if you want to do it as the necklace. Oh, Simon said the pink eyes is sword, sword that um, already. A few people like the, just uh, testing on the uh, text, said it on the text message, but I don't know. Right. And what question, what color is the green and bronze? Please, I can't find it on the website. I haven't got a, uh, look, I got this one, which is called bronze steel. So it's more of like a tealy color rather than a greeny color. That one is called bronze teal. So once you are done and you're happy with your loop, I kind of just like to, as I'm straight there, coming out of that bead, go up and around the loop one more time just to really secure that loop make that loop nice and strong and then sometimes even run around the whole of the star let me zoom out now just a tiny bit um run around the star and go up and around that loop to have a nice and very strong tension there and it will be flatter and this one is because we went around a bit more it's it's definitely gonna stay definitely gonna stay flat so the more you go around your star the more you fill up those seed beads with thread the straighter it's going to sit i'm just gonna come down through the seed bead make sure i pull this into the center and then go through the very top seed bead just like that and now I'm just gonna run around my little star here and add maybe a one thread knot here or there just to secure my thread down come up here then I'm gonna do a one thread knot just here so I am um, just gone through between those two beads I haven't gone through any of the beads I just want to catch the thread path right underneath the, the seed beads there and as I'm pulling this through can you see that little loop is forming and before this loop would disappear I'm going to take my needle through this loop and when I pull this up nice and tight can you see that forms a little knot and which then disappears it being the two beads then I'm going to go ahead and take my needle through the next few beads and then I'm okay to trim it never cut your thread off right next to your knot now for the middle we do have a little bit of thread there so again for the middle what i would do i would add this onto my needle and then just take it through a few more beads because i don't want to cut it off right next to my knot because at the moment my knot is right there where the thread is coming out so in the beginning we have taken our thread two beads over um, this direction so this was anti-clockwise and I know that because my thread is I can just about to see here in the corner where I stepped up so this thread I'm going to take it to clockwise I'm going to take it to a different direction and just go around now if this part is a little bit loose at this point or if your star is puckering a little bit then this is where you need to tighten up your beadwork. So I'm gonna gonna if it's if it's loose, then I'm and even if it's not loose, you can go around a couple of times here just to really pull it tight because the more you pull these beads tightened together, the more star gonna pull together and be a nice and flat shape. So that's a little bit of a troubleshooting there for you if your shape is not exactly could use a small crystal in the middle absolutely we could use we could put a seed bead in the middle we could put anything anything a uh, crystal bicone i have even got anything to hand right here can you believe that i haven't, <laughs> I haven't got i have another little bead but you could you could add things in the middle as well if you wanted to i quite like it plain as well 
but it's, it's up to you right let me just go through the next couple and then i'm just going to trim my tail end and that's it that's how easy it is to make one of these stars i really do love them they make a beautiful even if used as a pendant or a beautiful decoration for your home Did I make the gem duos in smaller size? We, we don't stock any smaller gem duos. We only have this size. Right, okay, so there we go. That look really, oh, I love it. Can't wait to, my kid to come, Lucy's saying. I do, do really love these ones. And you can make them in all sorts of different colors, color combinations. I do I quite like it, even if you just do it with one color, it's quite nice. But I do think when you're using more than one color, it just makes it even nicer. It just brings the pattern out of the of the star even more if you have more than one color. But do let me let me know in the comments. Do you like one color or do you like multiple colors? Or this is one color, two color. This is two color, and there there is your three colors as well. So what is your favorite? One, two, or three color? Which which one do you like? Which design you like best? I love this one as well. This one has got three color in there as well one two or three color which which, which one do we prefer Let, let's let's have a little vote on it i'm just going to zoom out a little bit so you can see and bring more more of them in the shot here shall i just think it's beautiful i think so as well i really do even, even if like because not, not because i made it but i really do love them lucy's saying i love them all To question, are these gem the same as in gem duo bracelet piece? Yes, they are exactly the same. Oh, I can make mine on Friday when my kids arrive. Well, thank you, so, everybody. Thank you so much for your orders. We really do appreciate it. Angela saying, so she likes one color, she likes two color, and she likes three colors as well. Same as me, I guess. It pops it with two or three colors. Yeah, I do agree. But it depends what color theme you're going for. Because if you are like just want a silver tree or if you just want, like if you're using it as a decoration and you want a color to show up, then you might want to. Molona likes three colors. Pia likes three colors as well. Multiple colors, Francis saying. Thea saying, love them all. Three colors is my favorite. Two or three, maybe. <laughs> Let's have a play. Just play with it. All brilliant silver would be lovely with green seed beads. Yeah, you can you can do you can swap the seed beads. You can do all sorts of different things with it. There, are, I I love these sort of colorways. These these silvery. So th these are very Christmassy colorways for me. But I would definitely wear that as a pendant, one hundred percent. Um, and and I do have. I haven't got the herringbone chain to hand, but it would be beautiful on the herringbone chain. Just to, just to wear it, like especially now in the summer, you don't want to wear like big big heavy necklaces, but something like that just gives you. Then he's saying she likes two colors. Leon is saying she likes all variation. Um, Mina is saying thank you. I've ordered crystal bicon bundles last night, so you could put the put the crystal bicon into the middle of there if you wanted to. I want the photo to up your sink. Are the gem duos available on the website but not in the kit? Yes, absolutely. So if you go on the website and you look under check beads, it will be it will be there. They're all two whole um gem duo beads. Cynthia's saying beautiful. Right, my lovelies, thank you so much for watching. I haven't got left in the uh, left in the lounge, left in the sample in the lounge. Uh, what I was doing, um, we're gonna do on Friday. So on Friday, we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be making some little dragonfly earrings. Well, you don't have to use them as earrings, but we're gonna make little dragonflies. And I, I have put some little kits together. So those of you who set, seen the creation station, the dragonfly is coming to life, and we're gonna have them as little pair of earrings so one little kit's gonna make one little pair of earrings so i'm breaking it breaking it all down because otherwise you'd have to buy a whole strand of pearls and a whole like in two different pearls and a whole strand of crystals so i'm baking it all oh the coaster rachel thank you so much thank you for uh reminding me right let me just get that for you um quickly where did i put it yes there they are so the coasters and the, the coaster kit is on the website as well although i'm not quite sure if it's in stock but it's definitely on the website so there we go that's that's the coaster kit and it's the same pattern but you like kind of like one row is going to be one color 
and you're just going to carry on actually i should leave one of these out here for my coffee so that one is in reverse uh, a kit will make you two coasters so the resin and the mold is not included um with the kit it's only the beads to make the beaded part of the coaster and then you can i show you i got one beaded up just with that which is not set in resin and then you can set in resin but you can make them in all sorts of different colors they're really really beautiful i, lo I love this color this is one of my favorite colors and then I have we had blues as well. I'm oh, sorry. Right next to the microphone, I'm making all these sounds. We had blues as well. They look beautiful as well. You could do all sorts of different, like even if you just had leftover of these gem doors. But virtually that's what you're doing. You're doing this star and then you keep on stitching it together, like making it bigger and bigger and bigger. So you know where we picked up one gem duo and in in, in between we picked up seed beads so with this one you would just carry on and you would pick up one gem duo then two gem duos then one gem duo two gem duo and all the way around and making it bigger and bigger and bigger but if you want me do let me know in the comments and i go and make a quick, quick video for it because that creation station where we're working out together is quite long so i could probably put together a little 10 minute video making these and i would have to uh, i need i need somebody who like do resin and do a little video on us to setting it into resin because at the moment I'm just got so much going on that I love resin but just I haven't really got time when you get the resin out it's like a whole afternoon playing with resin so Joe if Joe is here maybe we need Joe to I'll beat it up <laughs> just heard to make us a video how to set into resin and give us all the good tips about resin so you could do all sorts of different things so the star and and the coaster is just starting out um, in the same same sorry couldn't i don't know what you i mean Angela. where are the blackburn holes again um i'm not sure um what what do you mean elaine can you and a little bit more on which only one in stock um like for a sweet dream charlotte charlotte is going to bachelor's in hawaii so it must be like 1 a.m for her sarah couldn't help Maybe Sarah couldn't help. Oh yeah, um, Sarah uh, Millsop. She's been she has been doing resin and she's been doing bits and pieces as well. But to be honest, like she's so so busy at the moment. Like every week, she had, like last week I think she had like thirteen shows or 11, 11 or thirteen shows, something like a lot of shows on a create and craft and they are so time consuming because don't forget the show is 45 minutes but you have to be at the studios two hours before the show and it's just like really like you know they are really really hard work so poor Sarah is just so so busy that I am um, but you never know like I, I, I guess if you don't ask we don't get so I'll I'll I haven't spoke to her usually I speak to her every single week I haven't spoke to her today so I will give her a call and um and see and see if she could if she could help because i could beat it all up and i could send it up to her but then i got all the molds here as well so i don't know we we'll see maybe maybe I need, I need i need i need to still sarah borrow her down and and come down come down to be with us here for a little bit sarah is mad busy at the minute with tv yeah absolutely she is you're just saying the coaster is beautiful Right, my lovelies, um, thank you so much for watching. I am going to be back on Friday. We did the Dragonfly earrings. And I hope everybody have a lovely week. I hope, be, do put the pictures on if you make them. Do put the pictures on our handmade group. And your any kind you're making because it's, I, I would love to see what you've been up to or what you're making. Everybody take care. Have a good day and I'll see you on Friday. And those of you who are in the Beat Club, I see you tomorrow. I know it's Sue's week, Sue Picknell is teaching this week, but um, I'll be in to say hello and to look after you. So those of you in the Beat Club, then I'll see you tomorrow, right? And if you're not in a Beat Club, then do check the Beat Club out. See you later.